hi guys welcome to my channel so i wanted to make this video to talk a little bit more about the louis vuitton nano speedy i have done an unboxing and spoke about the imperfections of the first nano speedy that i got in and i did tell you guys that i had decided to keep that bag because i had been looking for it for over a year um and i was willing to overlook some imperfections but after closer examination of the bag these imperfections were so ridiculous like I, I just could not spend that much money on a bag that was not near perfect <clears throat> i'll insert a picture here so that you guys can see what i'm talking about but it was definitely not it did not look good i i was embarrassed at the quality that i was getting <laughs> As you can see in the photo, one side of the bag looked okay, the other side was really, really bad. And the way that the piping was stitched, it actually made the bag tilt to one side when it was just sitting on like, let's say a table. The zipper was also not straight and had kind of like a zigzag wave to it. So a couple of days ago, I did decide to return the bag. I wasn't even interested in looking at any more nanos um, because a couple weeks ago, I did go to the Louis Vuitton store in Costa Mesa. And at that point, I had already decided that I was going to keep my nano bag. <clears throat> But I was going in to go shopping for a multi pochette. But because I was there, I asked the associate, like, you know what? Can I see a couple of your nanos just to compare um, how they looked, you know, in comparison to mine? And she pulled out four and they were ridiculous. Like, they were horrible. Like, worse than mine. So a part of me kind of felt like, okay, I got the best of the bunch, you know? And I kept trying to convince myself like, oh, just keep it, just keep it. It's fine, you know. Um, but a couple of days ago, I actually decided that it was just way too much money to spend on a bag that was not, I don't want to keep saying perfect, but just what you expect, you know. So I made an appointment today to go to the Louis Vuitton in Beverly Hills. I actually was looking for a speedy 25 bandolier edition and that was the only location that had it in stock when i was in costa mesa i did ask them for it and they didn't have any of the um they didn't have any in stock like any of the prints any of the three prints that it comes in i did reach out to my ca in the beverly center and she also told me that they were out of stock uh, when i called into customer service they told me that there was a limited quantity at the beverly hills location so in my mind i was like i'm returning the nano speedy i'm not even interested in looking at any more nanos i'm just gonna go in take a look at their speedy b um 25 and the, like i just had my heart set on that it's a classic bag i've wanted it for years I was about to be rung up for the Speedy B and I was going to do the exchange and just return the Nano Speedy. But after explaining the imperfections to the sales associate, um, she actually was like, let me go to the back and see if we have any other ones that look better than that. They had three in stock and she told me that the other two had the exact same issues that mine had like the wrinkling and the piping was not even and then the the one that she brought out was perfect like perfect guys so i'm going to show you guys i'm going to do the unboxing i know a lot of people care about the ribbons on the louis vuitton boxes i they didn't give me one it's not the end of the world i just don't really care as much i guess um because i usually toss them anyway i, I guess people keep them and collect them i don't know okay i'm so excited 
to show you guys. <laughs> okay. This, guys, this, <laughs> I could cry. This is the most perfect Speedy Nano, Nano Speedy, whatever, that I have ever seen. Like, this is what I'm talking about, okay? You can see the piping. Look at how perfect that is. <gasps> and when she brought this out, guys, I like fell in love with it again. You know, like, I don't want to say that I never want to shop at Louis Vuitton again, but because of this experience, I definitely kind of feel a little disappointed in the brand. Um, I appreciate Donna and her customer service and finding me this amazing bag. But yeah, the fact that I ordered online, got what I would consider a defective bag, and then going to Costa Mesa, and then seeing four more bags that were worse quality than mine, and then going to the Beverly Hills location and one out of the three that they had in stock was in sellable condition. To me, the bag that I received should never have been sold. It's obvious that it's defective. It's obvious that the quality is not there. So the fact that they are selling these bags that are less than perfect, and you know what? Louis Vuitton hand makes their products. So if it looks not exactly perfect, it's kind of understandable to some degree like if 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 they have a one bag every so often that is defective totally understandable but this is kind of an ongoing problem that they've had i just can't really support a company that you know is not doing more to quality control what they're putting out there yeah it's sad i mean I think if I were to buy another Louis Vuitton bag, it would be the Speedy B, but I'm just not really in a hurry to shop with them after this whole situation. Um, and having said that, like there are so many other luxury brands that have amazing quality. Like I bought bags from Gucci, from YSL, and I never have a problem. But with Louis Vuitton, I feel like you need to see items in person in order to know that the quality is up to your standards, you know? And I just don't like that. Um, so yeah, I just don't really see myself shopping at Louis Vuitton much anymore. I don't know, what are your guys' thoughts? I mean, there's so many people who have messaged me on you know, my video about the Nano Speedy and saying the same thing. Like, oh yeah, mine has this issue too and it has this wrinkling and it has these whatever, whatever, whatever the issue is, you know? And there's plenty. So yeah, I don't know. Goodbye, Louis Vuitton. <sighs> anyway, um, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below. See you next time. Bye.